Francisco Luis Febres Cordero E. Munoz, who's born to a family that is prominent in Ecuadorian politics. He was born with a disease that held him incapable of walking or standing. Until he saw a vision of the Mother of God at the age of five. When his mother died, he was enrolled in a Lasallian school in Cuenca, where he was recognized to be very intelligent. There, he saw how the Lasallian brothers lived and was inspired to become one of them. However, his father strongly opposed of his decision to do so. But soon, his father finally gave him his consent. They finally become a Lasallian brother at the age of 14 under the name Brother Miguel. Brother Miguel proved himself to be a very talented educator, gentle, dictated, and enthusiastic. And by the age of 20, he was producing his own textbooks which were spread throughout the country, earning him a membership in the Ecuadorian Academy of Letters. He also conducts religious retreats and helps children prepare for their first communion. Later, he was sent to Belgium to translate French texts to Spanish to be used by the order. Brother Miguel became homesick and his health began to decline as the climate did not suit him. He then transferred to Barcelona to continue his work, but then a general strike broke out and churches were being burned. Fortunately, Miguel and the brothers managed to escape the fire. His health condition worsened and caught pneumonia, causing his death. In 1977, Pope Paul VI beatified Miguel, and in 1984, Pope John Paul II canonized him. He is a saint, not because of his precocity or his intellectual ability, but because the warmth of his prayer, life overflowed in generosity and service to others. In everything we do, God is in the center, and we shall be fulfilled.